rounds was definitely going to get me all the rounds that I needed. Um, it's definitely been working. You know, now I'm consistently dropping 19-6. So the more 19-6s I see, the more times it's going to be like, all right, something big is going to happen. You said this race was the focus. And you're even more ready with the World Championship? Yep, even more ready. Yeah, facing the, the top, top competition in the world. No, I feel that. I'm just going to keep getting better from this point. You've always run some fast times here at Hayward Field. I know how much you like running here. So just what does it mean that for the first time ever in three weeks we get world championships on U.S. soil for the first time? It's good. It's an exciting feeling. Uh, it's nice to have some Hayward magic, but it's also nice to have a crowd that speaks English. <laughs> uh, I know that's uh, crazy to think about, but you know, walking out into a stadium where nobody really knows how to even pronounce your name co completely correctly is, uh, it, it gets to you sometimes. It's like, oh, but they all know that their national athlete is going out there and they know how to pronounce their name and they give a big roar. And it's like, you know, I, I want to feel that. You know, I want to feel that when you are coming in as the favorite that, you know, you get that big clap like you are the favorite. Can you uh, tell me how you're feeling physically? I know you mentioned before recovery with COVID and everything. Yeah, I first came out here and I remember I was warming up and I was telling my coach, hey, you know, I, I just got to do as little as possible because, you know, my breathing was a, a little heavier than I thought it was going to be. And I was like, let's just take our time, do one drill at a time, see how that goes. Um, I was able to warm up well because of that and that adjustment. And I believe that that really right there set the tone for the rest of the day. After that, I really felt good in that semi and it was like, yo, this semi just pumped up my legs. It got them primed and ready for that final. I was, when I was getting worked on by uh, my physical therapist, she was like, it doesn't even feel like you run. I was like, it doesn't feel like that to me either. <laughs> What's going through your mind with 100 to go? You're, you're behind coming off the time. Yeah, that's a very normal feeling I've been in. Uh, anybody who's known me since high school knows that I've been running from behind in a lot of races. And it's nothing to be afraid of. Even when I won at World Championships in 2019, I, I, I wasn't the first off the turn. That's not an unfamiliar position. And because of that, I know that I have the fastest top speed out there on the field. So when I reach that top speed, I'm going to keep it the longest too. So it was just about keeping my composure, being powerful, being you know assertive when I made every step and just reeling in Arion just one step at a time. And we got to that point where I'm like, all right, I know I'm passing before I reach the line. Well, because normally when you're coming off behind, the curve behind, you're not behind a 19-4 guy. So is that any different in your mind or no? Uh, it, it crossed my mind very bleakly, but I'm not running a 19-4 guy. I'm running Arion today, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it, like Just like I wasn't a 19-5 guy today. But I'm racing the person, not the time, yeah. you know? No, Tell me about no, the no. celebration again. The celebration? Come across uh, yeah. the line. I had to call up God, let him know that <laughs> I heard your message. I got it. We running fast. <laughs> What about before that? You and Jesus, you know, him going out and laying up the arm. How special is that? Man, that was, that was a, a, a huge, sweet moment. Um, me knowing that I had to buy, I was just like, there isn't three people that can beat Josephus. I just knew it. And this man dropped the 1993, a huge PR, and I just, and I knew he was going to do it. And seeing that three people beat him, I was just like, like every time, like, like, it hurts. It really hurts. But again, watching him give his all 100% of the time, that's all you can ask for each time. Like, even when I come out here, I don't I don't pray that I win. I pray that I can perform to the best of my ability. Can Based you on, you know, it's one thing to run a really fast time in New York like he did, but then to run it at the end of three rounds like yeah. he did today, what does that tell you about where you're at going into Worlds? Yeah, I already knew I was in shape. Um, COVID was the only thing that kind of threw me off. I was like, you know, I feel great, but I need to know it. And... We took it round by round, seeing how we felt. And to be honest, my body was like, hey, you might've been sick for a little bit, but you're still in shape. So you ain't gotta worry about that. Let's just keep going. And I remember my coach was like, yeah, let's, let's t temper it a little bit. In the semis, I was like, I can't think like that. How long ago <laughs> I, did I, you? I struggle like that. Like that, that's, what, that's what got me in that sticky position at the Olympics. How long ago did you have COVID? I had it, uh, so I had it in New York. I had it when really? I ran. I didn't know it at the time, cause I thought I was just sore. Because uh, I had aches and chills, but I thought it was just normal, you know, tracks work. And then I woke up on Monday, and I was like, oh, no, this isn't normal. And, uh, I tested positive on Monday after uh, that Sunday, and I tested negative on Saturday of that week. Can you tell me about the gesture at the finish line? What was it? What were you thinking when you did that? What was? Yeah, that was a, that was a message that everybody keeps doubting me. A lot of people come out, and they're just like, 
Oh yeah, you know, Aaron's running 19-4. This wasn't a message for Arion. No, my bad. <laughs> Arion is, is, is an amazing competitor. Uh, he looked a little disappointed. I, I think he's now getting that feel of what it's like to have a target on your back. And uh, but to be honest, he'll be fine. I know he's gonna come to Worlds and he's gonna bring it. You know, I expect him. To, I expect him to PR, and I expect myself to PR at Worlds. But that was definitely a message to everybody who keeps doubting me. Everybody who's very, oh, we've seen you win enough times. You know, we're tired of watching you win. That's cool. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop winning. Yeah. And I came out here to make sure that you know that. <laughs> but do you think he took it as a gesture at, at him and to him? Uh, he might have, and I will definitely talk to him after this and let him know that it wasn't because I don't. I don't need him to feel like that, you know, because that is not how he should feel. It wasn't for him. It was just for others. We are teammates, and he's an amazing guy. And, how, like, how relaxed are you, in, you know, when you're coming down the final 100 to, to be able to still do that? You look pretty relaxed. Like, how are you I have to be. Physically? If I tense up, it's over. Again, that's what I felt happened at the Olympics. I had to come off with such force in that first 100 at Tokyo that – I, uh, I tried to keep pushing. Was good. <laughs> you good, you good. But anyway, I ended up um, I just pushed, asking for more, and I ended up going backwards. And I was like, I'm never going to be in that situation. I got out of character. You know, that's not my character. I know that I'm going to always run faster when I relax. I let it come. And again, that's what happened today, even when I was in the hole.